Can you put it down? Okay. What is it? Can you tell me why we're sitting here instead of having a good night's rest at home? Because you, my love, need a breather, okay? You work too much. You work day in, day out, even at night. Girl, you need to relax. Chill, you know, live a little, you know. You'll be fine. Did you say I'll be fine? Mm-hmm. No, the only thing I'll be is messed up with a hangover in the morning. This isn't my kind of chilling. You know this, Holly. Okay, but this place is beautiful. Look around. And the night is giving lovely atmosphere and chills. And who knows, maybe you might meet someone, someone new. Someone, mm -hmm. like the guy sitting over there that's been staring the whole time, which is making me uncomfortable. Girl, that is Ethan. If Ethan is staring at you, it's good news. How is Ethan staring at me? Good news. I know him, he's the owner of this place. Mm -hmm. That's the number one Casanova in town. Someone that's been staring at me like he wants to take my clothes off with his eyes. He's Okay, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. Whatever. I just wanna go home. <laughs> um, I think you're mistaken. Yeah, we didn't order we didn't, this. We didn't order that. My boss has already cleared your bills. I wanted him to give you this. Tell him thank you for his kind gesture, but we can take care of our bill. Okay. Thank you. Ray, what? Come on now. If he sent this drink over to you, it's because he wanted your attention. You don't have to be rude. My attention? Yes! He's been staring at you. You said it yourself. This man gets the attention of over 20 women a day. He has like 20 women with him right now. Is he trying to add me to the pack? Please. May. You don't understand, I'm tired. So I'd rather be at home. Excuse me? I uh, actually uh, sent you guys a little gift, but it seems you'll turn it out. I'm fine. Uh, you're fine, okay. Um, Ethan. Nice to meet you. I'm Ethan. I'm in a hurry to go home. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Can I at least get you in? Uh, oh. oh. Sorry. Oh, Ray. Right. Yeah. Ray. Yeah, you don't want this drink? You want something else? We are okay. This is almost done. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Madam Free Sam. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, hmm? I have work tomorrow, okay? I'm not about to stay up talking about a man whose main objectives are women. Someone who's so rich, I don't even know if he has real life problems. Please. Girl, okay. you should have at least listened to him. Who knows what he wants? I do. And I know that it involves leading to the bed. But the only place I want to be led to is my promotion at work, which I have tomorrow. So please, I'm not about to stay up talking about Ephraim. Ethan, Ethan. Ethan. I, I don't care. I don't care. Please, good night. I'll see you at breakfast. Andrew, you, you are too much. You are too much. Be nice. Departed. Hmm? How about meeting a new MD today? Oh. Well, I mean, 
the last one was a pain in the ass mm. and i don't know why i feel like this one is going to be like that as well but i'm going to it i have my eyes set on being the top analyst mm -hmm. so yeah of course i am for that oh yeah baby girl you are going to be and nothing is going to stop you whatever it is they're going to favor you okay they're not going to stress you out mm -hmm. see this glow on your face it's going to come back home with you every day from work no stress zone okay mm -hmm. so don't worry about it my love mm -hmm. That's good. Huh? I have to go. You haven't even finished your breakfast. Uh -huh. You still have food on your plate. Today is the MD's first day at the board meeting. I need to make a good impression. True. Yeah. That okay. True. Bye. High five. Good morning, baby. Thank you. You're going to be absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Talking me? What? No, uh, I, I don't care. Okay? Are you so jobless? You're following me around the place. What's the meaning of this? Please go back to the lounge. That's your office, isn't it? You stop bothering me. Guys, mm -hmm. it's the new ending office. So, uh, I would like each one of you to introduce yourself uh, so we can get acquainted. Start it from you. Okay, my name is Joan and I'm the company's secretary. Okay. And I'm Mrs. Taro, the senior financial analyst. My name is Greg, I'm the sales manager. I'm Agnes, the customer care. I'm Mary, internal control and admin officer. Mm. Ray. Ray? It's your turn. Your name and designation, please. Oh, um, my name is um, my name is Ray, and I am the junior financial analyst. Hmm. Junior financial analyst. Mm -hmm. So we have a senior financial analyst. What use do we have for you? My question is not rhetorical, Miss Ray. I... I... You see, in the past, uh, this company gave out uh, these kind of jobs to multiple people where one person could actually perform the task. Right now, we don't have the resources for that, so I'm going to be here, I'm going to watch, I'm going to vet and see who is uh, more competent to perform each task. Okay, everyone, this is the end of the meeting. You can go back to your offices, okay? No. This way. Meet me in my office. Yep. Come in. You sent for me, sir. I come on, just uh, quit with this, sir. Uh, and don't even call me boss. You and I know you don't respect me enough to call me that. Ethan is fine. Do you have something to say to me? 
Actually, I do. Okay, I'm listening. What the hell? What, you don't do well with rejections? Is that the problem? Excuse me? I don't know what you're talking about. But I have uh, a wine I would like us to share, you know, one of the friends. Italian wine you can find around. So, uh, would you like to join me? I don't drink at work. Hmm. You are an interesting woman, you know what I'm I like you. I see. That's why you threatened me with my job? Brilliant. Look, Ray. I'm gonna be here for a while. And I think it's in our best interest we get acquainted. Don't you think so? Is there something you need me to do? I really have to get back to work. I don't have time for chit chat. Sir. Hmm. No, nothing. I'll see you around. Great. Okay, baby girl, please tell me you are lying or this is someone funny joke or something because what? I understand. It's almost like I'm going crazy. Yes, I understand the Jacobs are wealthy, but uh, uh, wealthy. <laughs> wealthy is an understatement, my love. These people are mighty rich. Ethan owns that bar. And I heard that he owns bars in Lagos, um, Potakot. Abuja, not just bars, clubs, hotels. His sister who was on a hotel in, um, is it Cameroon or South Africa? Where did I even hear that? And what is that kind of man looking for in my office? He can easily feed everyone working <laughs> there. So like, it doesn't make sense. I just, I hate this so much. This really doesn't make any sense. You know, if you said his brother, then yeah, okay. It would make a little bit of sense to me because that one likes office work. But Ethan has a history of hating ending office. That boy just wants to live sweet boy association president life, enjoying his life, Friday night clubs and stuff like that. He's not cut out for office work. So what is he doing in your company? Do you think he might be doing it to spite me? Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. There's a possibility that he's doing it to spite you, but there's also room for us to think that it's not. Maybe it just has work to do there. But girl, this doesn't make any sense. To be sincere with you, zero sense. Ah. I'm sorry, baby girl. Okay, you'll be okay. <laughs> this is so hilarious. What are you talking about? Stop it, man. You're not so good at it. Are you joking? I'm serious, bro. I am dead serious. Your what? When I had clocked in at work, I, I saw her. She was there, you know? And the funny thing is that she doesn't even have my time. I'm serious. Like, she hated me from the first time she saw me. And it's mm. crazy, but it attracts me to her. Like, I just want to... <clears throat> get to know her you know and uh crazy right <laughs> you know what man and i'm so tired of the discussion yeah i'm tired because i know that it's just a matter of days she's gonna be like one of those old fishes so what's the use yeah. <laughs> this is ethan man no she's different the fact that i even saw her at the office worsened the way I feel for her. I like her. Do you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like you her. You what? I like the girl, man. You know what? I <laughs> I have seen you with trailer loads of girls and not for once have you ever said you like any. Mm. This is getting really serious. The Casanova Ethan? Nah. It's impossible. <laughs> I think I know what the problem is here. I think you are merely being intrigued by the fact that she's not falling head over heels for you like 
numerous other girls do at the first attempt. So it's, to me, I think it's the thrill of the chase and nothing more. No. That's what it is. No. What? She's different and I like her. Shut up. I'm serious. <laughs> Shut up, I'm serious. Man. Get out of here, man. <laughs> I'll tell it to the Marines. You. You. Uh -huh. Who's going to okay. tame this tiger? And not her, not anyone else I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> You give up. Like, I'm busy, I have work, I don't have time for this nonsense. I just called to, to apologize. For what? Whatever I did that makes you hate me so much. <sighs> Look, I, I have so much work to do, okay? And like you said, I have to do a really good job if I want to remain in that company. So please, I, I have to go. Good night. I don't mind your business now. Did I say anything? Did I say anything? <laughs> ah, yo, come into strip late like this. <laughs> You didn't. 
have a job to attend to. And what am I doing here? I'm joking? Your love has Ray, I like you. In fact, I'm fascinated by you. But this is my office and I expect to be respected. Look, Ethan, this job is what most of us have been doing for a while. So we love and respect it as well. And I don't. Look, you are a wealthy man. You come from one of the wealthiest families in the country. You have no business being here. You have no idea what it's like to have a business and run the risk of losing it. So please, just leave me alone. Just stop, all right? Stop it. Or what? You fire me? Look, Ethan, I know you're used to everyone being at your beck and call, but I won't be at your mercy. I just want to be left alone to do the job I am paid for. Submit your brief to my secretary by close of today. You will have five minutes to run the board through it tomorrow. And about the other night, when I offered to buy you wine, I'm sorry. That's one of the things I came to talk to you about. I'm not trying enough. I still have a lot of things to do here, yeah, a lot of things to review. And it's all gonna happen in one day or like just a few hours now. Then send somebody else. I'm not gonna be pressured into doing rough work. If I have to do this, I have to do this on my own term. I have to do it well, do it properly. Yeah, come inside. If you don't trust me, then just, just send somebody else, okay? okay. I'll call you back. I, um, I, I came to apologize for the way I spoke to you. You're my boss and I, I didn't need to speak to you like that. I'm sorry. Are you apologizing because you are? i truly sorry or you are apologizing because you think being mean to me would jeopardize your job. If you are, you don't need to be. I mean, I'm not here for that, so don't do that. Only apologize to me when you're truly sorry. But I am though. I'm sorry. Then the bar tonight. Excuse me? Yeah, if you're truly sorry, then treat me to the bar tonight. It's a work day tomorrow, so I, I can't be drinking tonight. That was a work day the first time I met you and you were drinking. I said I was sorry. I don't believe you. Okay. Fine, the bar tonight. But I, I can't be out late. Cool. Okay. Alright. They should finish it. Red. Yes. No, now the red will make the red dress pop too much. Uh, please, it's just drinks we're going for. I'm not trying to send the wrong impression. Please. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna have you walk out of the house not wearing that. It's going to look good on you. Looking good is good deed to oneself, not to another. Okay. How do I look? <laughs> you know you look amazing, and you're just trying to stop. So please. Go and be all green. It's not going to bite you. Take. Take. Okay. Yeah. But you wish that one day so it's gonna be so it's nice. Too much. Come on, I know what I'm saying. You think she's gonna come? I know she's gonna come. <laughs> you know, 
I've been thinking it's it's really kind of weird the manner in which you appear to be liking this girl more than average it's 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 strange <laughs> right yeah yeah I mean, see a guy like me I always have women around me now I'm sitting here like a little duck waiting for this ordinary girl I mean I'm smithing <laughs> over this ordinary girl it's funny really 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 yeah, funny it is. <laughs> and it is. I've been thinking like ever since I've met you this is the very first time ever that you're seated in a place like this and not flanked by a bevy of beautiful women yeah I, I think I Hey, you're so beautiful. Hi. Hey. You, you came? Yeah. Um, okay, this is uh, my friend. Hello. Phil. Hello. Nice to meet you. Same here. Right. Yeah, man. <sighs> Alright, so um, I'll let you guys get to it. Okay. Have fun, my man. We talk later. Bye. Right. See you soon. Yeah. Alright, sure. You okay? Yeah. Alright, uh. I will let the waiter bring us uh, okay. our own drink. You look, you look amazing. Thank you. So, this is where you hang out every night? Yeah. I own the place, though. It's on a ride, I come around all the time. Mm-hmm. Look, I uh, I want to apologize for the other night. You did already. So no, no, no. I mean, I was uh, sitting with women and then I sent you a drink. That was disrespectful and uh, stupid. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. My dog. Come on, my dog. Yeah. And I'm here with you to lead us. I'm just trying to You're welcome. You know, you, you didn't have to do that. I do what? I mean, I forced you to ride with me, so it's not the right thing to do. Make sure your car is delivered to you in one piece. All right. Hey. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tonight. No, thank you for tonight. You would have preferred to stay inside and work as usual instead of resting, but then you were out with me, so... Thank you. Yeah. Well, speaking about work, I have that brief to work on for tomorrow, so I need to get back to it. Okay. I, uh, I heard that you are so good at what you do. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure I'll be fine. All right. Good night. Good night. Out, right? Yeah. You look really beautiful tonight. Thank you. Good night. Good night.
what tea time you're talking about. I'm tired. Uh, you can't be like this now. Come on, talk to your best girl. How did it go? Still, he's nice. Nothing special, okay? Just nice. Nothing special. <laughs> and you're blushing ear to ear. I don't know what you want me to say. Mm. Okay, the thing is that he's a really nice guy. That's it. You know, <clears throat> he might actually be in love with you. I'm just saying, you know, it's possible. You open your mind to that thought. Holly, hmm? you realize this man has a million women. They just look for new babes so they can use and dump. No, thank you. But he can change. People change. So you really think that man as he is, he doesn't have a girlfriend? Well, even if he has a girlfriend, he can leave her for you. He can leave any girl in the world for you. As long as he loves you, okay? This conversation is over. Good night. But you didn't tell me... I I said good night. Is that what you're saying? I said good night. That was, good night is leave my room now. Good night. Thanks, eh? Thanks for waiting for me. I really did not use that ruby red. I told you I wasn't going to. Use. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Hey. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. I seem to be in a hurry. Well, we have a debrief in about 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm in a big hurry. Hmm. Okay. Why do you have that face? What? I am thinking, what if I pushed some buttons and you don't have to debrief till 12 p.m.? You're joking. No, I'm not. I mean, uh, if you were ever underprepared, that would be my fault. I literally made you two stay out last night. I don't want you to be pissed at me for any reason, so... <laughs> Thank you. All right? Yeah. So before, uh, meet me in my office so that you can debrief me before you do okay. the debriefing. All right. <laughs> hey, baby. Man, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I came here to surprise you. What you surprise doing? you? Hey. No. Ray? Hey, where are you going to? Huh? Who's that? What the hell are you doing in my office? Huh? What are you doing here? Well, you weren't taking my calls, okay? So I came here to see you, to find out what was wrong. How did you find me? This is my office. You don't just show up at my office looking like what? Looking like? As a sloth! A slot. In case you've forgotten, hmm? This slot, huh? was the one that sustained you and satisfied you all through your lonely nights, okay? No. So don't call me names. I told you to stay the hell it's away nice. from me. Leave my office now and never come back. Leave! <laughs> you must be joking, okay? I came into this town because of you. You, me, this thing, it's forever. Come leave my office, are you crazy? You are who I'm What is him you? What is him Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. How the hell did you let a stranger in my office? Sir, she was making a scene in front of the client. I had to usher her in. She said she was a fiance. What? Yes, she showed us a ring and said she was going to report us all if we embarrass her. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Listen, don't you ever let her anywhere close to my office again. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Leave. Just want to apologize. There's no need for that. Ray. What do you want, Ethan? Do you realize I don't even know who you are? What do you want? What are you here to explain? I really am not interested, to be honest. I'm not. That's an unfair thing to say. No. An unfair thing is you not letting me be. 
You have tons of women. What are you trying to do? Make me one of them? Come please, on. Ethan, just please. Wait, please. Ethan, leave me alone. Breaking my own heart <sighs> Since you came into my world I've known a better version of me Whenever I'm far from home I long to be back in your arms Is to be wild Running the streets A better place is Right by your side Your love has changed me Ray, come on, listen to me. I just need a few minutes of your time. I need to talk to you. I am exhausted, okay? Ray, I'm sorry. I don't know how else to say it, but I'm sorry. Look, you didn't do anything wrong except bother me, which you're still doing. Ray, I like you. I'm crazy about you. I can't stop thinking about you. Look, I have feelings for you. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. I get the joke. I'm not joking. I'm serious about this. Ray, since the first time I saw you at the club. You I... haven't been able to eat. You haven't been able to sleep. You must really think I'm foolish not to have heard these things a million times, Ethan. Ray, I know it's hard to believe. I, I know it's I know it's a silly thing. I know you think that I'm this Casanova who is incapable of loving anybody, but I truly do love you. Ethan, I just need you to leave me alone with your stories, okay? I know your type. Handsome with dangerously sweet mouth. Just... Ray, I, come on. I know how this works, okay? You chase the girl, you get the girl, you dump the girl. Ethan, we're here to work. Let's leave it at that, okay? Ray! If I should let you go I would be breaking my own heart You know, I was really rooting for this guy But with this new development, man I don't know I think you have to go and F it up You're rooting for money because he has money Uh, excuse me baby girl, don't you like money? We all like money, okay? But he just seemed like a sweet, lover boy kind of person. I didn't think that. Ah, I didn't think what? I told you nothing good comes out of guys like that. Uh, Why did he resume the office? They're already coming to be kissing him there. Okay, madam. <laughs> that soon sounds like you're angry. And it's confusing because you said you didn't like him. So why are you acting angry? I'm angry because he thinks I'm gullible. And that is disrespectful, okay? <laughs> I'm serious. The rest of us take our work very seriously. We respect that office space. Now, now, he just came. Girls are already flocking the whole place. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, I can see steam coming out of your head right now, so calm down. Okay, calm down, angry bed. Did you ask him, you know, who is this bed lady? What she means to him? You know, get an explanation from him. Just continue playing again. Who's there? It's fine, I'll get it. Okay. I'll just wait for you. Okay. Who is it? No one is there. is from uh, well i don't know but for them to bring it here that means it belongs to somebody in this house i'm really sorry Ray. is back to town. Didn't you break up with her? That girl, she's driving me crazy. She's driving me crazy. Just when I thought I started to get along with Ray, things are going fine, then she pops out of nowhere. But I thought you broke up with her. Didn't you break up with her? What's her business with you? Imagine somebody leaving Abuja all the way from Abuja to come here and look for me. Is she not nuts? She's not crazy? I'm sick and tired of her. Bro, she, she's driving me crazy, man. No, no, no. no. <laughs> there is no point you going crazy. All right, sit down. Sit down. Damn, what do I do? Like, what do I do about this girl, it's man? Not, it's not that difficult. You know, you know what? Be a man. Tell her off. Tear off. Just tell her to leave you alone. What? Yeah, go on and tell her to leave you alone. Oh, you think I haven't done that before? You think she will listen to me? Think she cares about what I say to her? She doesn't. I've called the police on that girl before. The girl that comes to the club to harass me. You? And then fight with other girls who are chilling with me. Like she's my girlfriend or my wife or something. Huh? That girl is crazy, bro. Then arrest her again. Get a restraining order against her. Do anything, whatever it takes. Do whatever you have to do to keep her away. And you know she's threatening your peace with, with, with Ray. Do something. You know what? As a matter of fact, call her and meet her up. What? Call her. Wait, what do you mean? Call her now. This night, meet her up this night. Aren't you going to the bar? Huh? Uh huh. Uh huh. So call her, have a one on one with her. Tell her off. What are, why are you being hesitant about, about it? You're partly responsible for this thing because you are not decisive. Now, what if Ray accepts your apology and then she pops up again like the psychopath that she is? What are you going to do? She's going to mess things up for you. So you're gonna ruin things for you. Have you thought about that? Take action, be decisive. It's it's rubbish, not that you're literally controlling your life. I'm not good. She's just crazy, that's all. What's wrong with her? You, Ethan, is in love. Humor me, please, like I'm listening. I, 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 <laughs> Beth, mm -hmm. I'm serious. You and I, 
we're done. Like, done. In fact, we were never something to begin with. Are you mad? No, Ethan, are you actually crazy? Hey, hey, watch it. We're in public. Do I look like I care? Huh? So wait, I don't understand. Did you bring me here tonight simply because you wanted to humiliate me? No. I called you here to tell you to leave me the hell alone. Or what? Let me guess. You would arrest me again. If I have to, I would. Yes, I would. We have nothing going on. You were supposed to be a one night stand. I don't understand why. You just can't let go. What's your problem? Why are you going body like that? Just, just leave me hell alone. Listen. But you told me you loved me. What? Mm hmm You told me you loved me. I literally had to leave my ex-boyfriend because I was trying to be loyal to you. <sighs> Shitty ass. And you come here to tell me this bullshit. Oh, come on. First of all, when we met, I was drunk. <laughs> well, you know I was drunk and you took advantage of me. Uh, say, say the truth, you did. You were drunk, Ethan, for weeks. Huh? Really? Yet, we had it everywhere. Mention. In the pool, at the beach, in your car, at the bar. We did it every single day. And you call me and tell me that you were drunk. Are you being serious? Beth. I don't want you anymore. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Just understand it. Alright? We had great times. Yeah, we had great times. It's done. It's over. And I've paid you handsomely. So, just disappear. Leave me alone. Stop. Stop bugging me, okay? It's done. It's over. Right? You enjoyed yourself. I enjoyed myself. It's over. It's done. No, it can't be over, okay? Don't you miss me? Don't you miss all of this? No! I don't. I see you now have an office. Do you know from the Ethan I know that we loved to have fun with just me alone to suddenly trying to be a responsible man. Let me guess. It's because of that girl, right? What? Yeah. Um, what's that thing you call her? Ray or Ria or something. That shut ass bitch! Don't you ever try it again. Don't you ever put her name in your stinky mouth, right? Foolish girl. <laughs> if you want you, stay the fuck away from me. Okay, lovely boy. Let's see. Rubbish. What do you want? Hey, Ray. Can you come out? What? Um, to a bar. I'm here. I want us to talk. Look, I'm. I. I please, I know, I know you don't want to see me. I don't know. I know you don't want to talk to me, but I need to talk to you. I'm begging you. Not as your boss, but as a friend. Please. 
Send the address. You have 30 minutes, nothing more. All right. Thank you. to you every single day but I owe you an explanation you really don't need to. I do look I know I keep apologizing every single day but I think I owe you an apology you and an explanation you don't need to no I do Serious about you. I'm not a man that gives up easily, so I'm gonna keep fighting and fighting and yeah. fighting for you. Why are you doing that? You have tons of women. I had in the past, but I caught ties with everyone the day I met you. be with you. I'm serious about you. What about the lady in the office? Is she a regular friend? Is she a casual friend? Is she... Beth, now, she's someone I had something to do with her a long time ago. I caught ties with her months ago, but she, she just can't let me go. Ray, I love you and I truly want to be with you. I'm being honest here. Well, Ethan, you, you can't blame me for being scared like you are the number Just one heart attack. Just give me a month. Just give me a month. And if you still feel that I haven't changed, you can end things. I want to prove to you that I've changed. I've changed. I just need a fighting chance. Just give me a fighting chance. Please. Okay. Yes. Liked me the first time you saw me. Come on, just say the truth. No, just say the truth. That is a lie. You did. No. Oh my God. No. Oh my God. Look, if anything, you were annoying. <laughs> yeah, because you just sat there in the corner staring at me like you're gonna rip my clothes off with your eyes. <laughs> and then you sent wine. You were just sitting there smiling. You didn't stand up. Nothing. You were very annoying, actually. I was trying to impress you. I know. Okay. Um, it's late. I think you should get going. Yeah. Sure. Right. Come here, darling. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So, um, I was thinking about tomorrow. Uh huh. Um, would you like to come to my house so we could uh, hang out, have some fun, get to know each other better? <laughs> I know this might be sounding too cliche now, but I really do have work. Yeah. Uh, um, are you sure you don't want to get that? No, it's my dad. I'm calling back. You sure there's no problem? No, nothing. Okay. So, um, talking about tomorrow. Uh huh. Would you come tonight? I mean, you could bring your papers and we'll work together and uh, have fun together. 
<laughs> okay, that sounds like a plan. Hmm. Yeah, we could do that. Thank you for today. I mean, listening to me. I had a nice time. <sighs> Good night, baby. Good night. Um. <laughs> You know, a few weeks ago, you were scared of this guy. And now you're loving up. Why? Hmm? Tell me, why the sudden change of heart? No, I don't know. I just find myself warming up to him. <sighs> he's actually a genuine guy. Mm -hmm. And besides, he's on one month probation. That can hurt, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get to watch him for a month. Make sure I'm not willingly walking into a danger zone. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I don't have anything to lose. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. All I am saying is that you need to be careful. Okay? Holly, I don't understand you. One minute you're saying go for this guy. The next minute you're saying be careful. Like, pick a side. Oh, well, I'm just... <clears throat> All I am saying right now is be careful. Mm. And when I said you should get close to him, I said get close to him as a friend. You know, get to know him since you're working, you know, in the same space with him. I didn't say you should go and date him. It's Ethan. He's known to have girls all over him on at his beck and call. What makes you think he's going to change all of that because of you? You said he could. I was joking. Ha! <laughs> Girl, I just want you to be careful, okay? Take it easy. Take it slow. Maybe, just maybe he's serious, but in case he's not, at least stand on one foot. Okay, mommy. Okay, my daughter. Because <laughs> <laughs> all this advice, I heard you. Yeah, you better hear me. I don't want you to get hurt, okay? Hmm? You were blushing for him. Look at Hey, God, you're in trouble. You're in big trouble. Hmm. What's love for you? <laughs> okay, Dad. All right. I will take care of it and get back to you. Yeah. What? Dad, you and I know it doesn't work like that. You know it doesn't work like that. Okay, fine, fine. If you think it's easy to do, I will step aside and let you do it. That I'm tired. I'm t yes, I, I am tired. Yeah, fine, fine. This is so annoying, right? I don't know why they all think that I'm just this useless womanizer who doesn't know a thing or who doesn't do a thing. Yet when one of his companies was on the verge of collapsing, I stepped in and saved the day. Well, maybe you should prove to them that you're not what they think you are. What do you think I am? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. No. I was never wrong. I was never wrong. No, no, no. Seriously. The lifestyle and everything else was just to annoy him. Yes. That's why I did it. That's why I'm doing certain things to annoy that old man. Even. Look, seriously. This man decided to love my siblings and he pushed me aside. Why? Because they were able to juggle working for the private companies and working for him. But I couldn't see myself working for that man. I couldn't. Let him detect my life. Tell me what to do like I'm a child. But you agreed to step in and save his company. 10%. The finances rose by 10%. The first time in one year because of me. Wow. That's great. No, he doesn't see it like that. To him, it's nothing. To him, it's nothing. Very ungrateful, that man. Very, very ungrateful. That's why 
I enjoy running my companies, running my restaurants, running my, my clubs, my bars, my hotels. They make me happy. When I go and meet people that I, I talk to, I smile, I'm happy. I have new friends and people, people like you. Not those family people, ungrateful rats. Ease up, man, ease up. Just calm down. I understand completely. But uh, in my opinion, I think uh, you're doing great with the, 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 the business. And then, of course, I'm happy with Ray. I think that should be all that matters to you right now, my man. Honestly, it, this is some kind of El Dorado narrative, you know what I'm saying? Right. What are you talking about? Would I lie to you? Relax, man. You're paying attention to triviality. Don't let those things drag you in all directions. Come on, man. Kick them in the butt, man. Stay focused, focus, focus, man. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? No. You look like a queen. I'm, I'm amazing, beautiful. So you think he'll like it? Girl, he will love it. You look amazing, baby girl. If he loves you, then he should love everything about you, including this dress, which looks take away on you. <sighs> okay. Are you okay? What's wrong, babe? I just... I'm a little scared. I hope I haven't taken the wrong path. <sighs> well, I thought about it too. But girl, he's your MD. Which means that your goals are lying. Okay? And you said it yourself, my love. You have nothing to lose. Right? So just take it slow. Okay? Watch him and let's see how it goes. Come on. You know what? Lose that long face. You're way too beautiful for long faces right now. Stop. <laughs> yeah. I think he's here. Okay. Yeah. Time to go. Stop. Time to go. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. <laughs> We're about to have a good time. Show time. <laughs> <Here we> go. <laughs>
tensed? Absolutely. <laughs> You'll be great. I mean, you do great like you always do. Thank you. It's time. Oh, yeah, it's time. All right. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Hey. Got you. All right. Thank you. Let's go. We are recording a 60% rise in the company's finances. This is crazy. I, I basically took a look at the stock and I bought them with what I thought was safe for us. So, yeah. Really? What did you even do with this? Uh, junior financial analyst, girl. There's no junior about you. <laughs> Come on. The senior analyst does her best. Does her best? What? Uh, allowing the company to lose uh, so much money in the past 9 to 12 months. Is doing her best. <laughs> don't um, don't let me like hear that. Come on. Else back. No. How else do I put it? You know what? What? I'm thinking we should go out to celebrate. Oh yeah? Yeah, I might have something, a little gift for you. What? What is it? I'm not going to tell you. Please tell me. It's a gift. I'm Why did you say you. it if you're not ready to tell Can me? Can you go back to your office as your boss? I'm ordering you to get back to work, girl. Next time, don't say it if you're not ready to tell me. Get back to work, girl. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, we. Mom hated seeing food bits on our faces as kids. Oh, do you? I don't mind. Mm. I think it's one of those things that people pay unnecessary attention to. Mom, um, does she still bother you with that? She couldn't even if she wanted to. She died when I was 19. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. No, it's okay. It's fine. She and my dad were a detestable pair. Hmm. Frame to the core, straight perfectionists. Ah, it was exhausting growing up with them. I'm sorry about that again. <laughs> you know, people think that. We're perfect, you know. They think we we have it all, we have our shit together. But we're done. My dad, he's a little too old, 75. He still wants to be on top of us, like, <laughs> like controlling us. It's almost like he didn't live some part of his dreams and he wants to live it through us. Oh, that's selfish. Yeah. Do you know what I like about you? I mean, when I tried to meet you the first time I met you. What? Your feelings. Like you speak your mind, you don't care about who the person is. You just say what's on your mind. And I was so admirable. I mean, you knew that I was from an influential family. Like most girls, you would know, would have fallen to my knees, fallen to my feet, but you didn't. 
How special? Well, because that's not what matters. The personality matters, not the money. Money doesn't matter. Yeah. So personality, right? Mm-hmm. So what do you think about my personality? Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> we can say that I failed to discern correctly. Hmm. You're a pretty nice guy. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Whoa. So, um, how's your club, the bars? Everything. Oh, How's they're, that going? They're great. They're great. Um, Phil's in charge. He taking care of everything for me. Mm. I want to breathe in, breathe out. I trust him. I mean, he's doing a great job. You're doing good, Ethan. Thank you. I'm sure HQ would be so proud of you. Yeah. Uh, speaking of headquarters, uh, I want to tell you something. Oh. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is. Everything is okay. Give me a moment, okay? Sure. Hello? Sir, you better come out here before I get in there and scatter that silly useless date of yours. Try me. Rubbish. Oh, so that. Uh, give me a minute. I want to take care of something quickly. Okay. Alright. You know, you must care so much about this. Your new fish should come running at my beck and call every single time. Hmm? What kind of problem is this now? What do you want? Is it a crime that I met you? Huh? Fishes. Look, I'm a changed man. I've met someone. Someone I love and I'm serious about. So please, stop. A changed man, you call it? Huh? Do you know, come to think about it. The if and I know you don't normally stay with a woman for more than one month. Well, you've been with this woman for over one month now, huh? So I guess this thing, there's something special about her, and I'm not special, huh? What do you want? Before you left Abuja, you knew it couldn't be a thing. So, I'll give you anything you want. Do you understand? I don't want her seeing me with you. Please. This and everything isn't about money, you king. It's not about money, money, money. Okay? What have my time wasted? What have all of my emotions that I invested in you, Ethan? Huh? All the promises you made to me and you didn't even keep any. Ethan, you said you were going to marry me. You just threw on a wild goose chase and all of a sudden you slept, woke up and you just broke up with me. And you expect me to just move on like that? Are you being serious? What are you talking about? What do you want? Just stop! Before you left Abuja to come here, you knew it couldn't be a thing. So, cut the nonsense, cut the bullshit and tell me what the fuck you want. You see, what I want, I want 20 million Naira. Yes, 20 million Naira. And a fully furnished apartment in Lekki Face 1. So just stay the fuck off. Oh, fuck you, hate Don't you, don't you mm. ever touch me again. <laughs> Grace. Listen, you and I know very well that you're from a very wealthy family. So what I'm asking for is nothing compared to your words. So you either give me what I'm asking for, or I'm going to damage your life. The exact same way you damage mine. Yes. Get lost. Mm. I'm not giving you shit. So fuck off. Sorry, I took a little bit of time. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. There's someone out there trying to constitute me sense. Oh. But it's okay. So, um, you know, it's in your fault. 
Uh, I've had so much to drink, so... <laughs> What is this? You remember you bought some stocks that actually counterported the company's finances. Did you increase my pay? Come on, open it. You have been promoted lately. You are now the financial analyst. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you so much! Oh, thank you! <laughs> wait, wait, um... What about the senior financial analyst? We actually cut it down on some stuff. Yeah. It's the end of the month. Uh, tomorrow we are going to start. I think it's the right time. What? I mean, the company cannot afford to have multiple people doing the same jobs. Unless it's necessary, you know? It's uh, stressing the finances, it's taking a toll on the company. You help the company to get to where it is right now. We don't want to see it going down the drain again. So we have to do something. Yeah, but I... No buts, baby. Remember I told you that you had to work hard to impress me and keep your job? Well, you actually did. I mean, you didn't just impress me, but you impress everybody else. So, this promotion is not about you being my girlfriend. It's about you earning your place. Well, I'm proud of you. I mean, even though you're my girlfriend, you know, so it makes it easier because you know your job well. Come on. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, um, it's better thinking. What are you going to do for me? What? Well, what do you mean, what am I going to do for you? I mean, I mean celebrate. You got the promotion <laughs> and all that. The restaurant when you said don't ruin this beautiful moment please all right okay all i want to do is kiss you hold you close and hear you breathe yeah mm -hmm. well since you started talking already have you ever th thought about us above this hmm? yeah like um, we're married you know you're my wife we have kids many kids what running off and down here causing chaos yeah i mean it's gonna be cute right uh, handsome dad beautiful mom the kids are going to be like angels wait wait, wait you haven't thought about it you want that You still don't trust me? I do, I just... I don't know. I'm surprised you really changed. I told you I'm not here to play with you, babe. And I promise you, I have no intentions of hurting you. Believe me. Hmm. Okay, let's wrap this up. We're going to be late for work tomorrow. Come on, we can take care of yourself. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you.
I would be breaking my own heart Since you came into my world I've known a better version of me Hey! Hey! Hey, you! Yes, you're talking to you. How can I help you? <laughs> you're the new fish, right? I'm most likely who calls you. Ray. Oh, I see. <laughs> Ethan told me all about you, and to be honest, I, I don't have time for this. Okay? Mm hmm. S see. You see this whole thing? I have been there. Mm -hmm. You know, I was literally there months back. When I met Ethan, I thought he was the one. But guess what? He dumped me. And I bet he's selling the same old stories to you as well. And trust me, he's going to leave you the exact same way he left me. Mm -hmm. You should get out of my face. <laughs> wow. You must really think you're special. But trust me, you're not, okay? You're just his new catch. And you and I know very well that Ethan is just a Casanova with lots of promises to tell. Don't say I didn't want you, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I see why he left you. And to be honest, I can't blame him. You're really desperate. <sighs> I'm desperate. You know, you must really think that you know him to be defending him, right? Hmm? Did he tell you that his dad owns this company? Did he? Hmm. I guess not. You see this company? It was literally at the verge of bankruptcy when you met him. Yes. But he stepped into this company to save it so that he could get into his father's good books. You think meeting you was by choice or a coincidence? Nah. He had it all planned out from the very start. Yes, he did. No, you're telling lies. <laughs> wow. Think. Hmm? I get that your head is really small, but you need to think. Okay? I hear you're very brilliant and smart. Hmm? What do you think? Obviously, him having you by his side, he's going to grow and benefit a whole lot from it. And who knows? His sick dad might end up willing this entire company to him. His luck, I guess. Mm -hmm. His dad is sick. Gosh. And I thought she was smart. You really do not do your assignments, do you? Hmm. Sorry, girl. Ray? Ray? Hey! Hey! Ben! What did you say to her?
What did you tell her? What did you tell exactly her? Exactly the little truth you've been hiding from her, okay? What truth? What are you talking about? Why don't you go and find out for yourself? Listen to me. If you ruin this for me, then I swear I will find you and I will kill you. <laughs> and if I ever set my eyes on you again, I won't need a police to help me. I will make sure you disappear myself! Since I got your call. So sorry, love. He deceived me. He lied to me. And you think you wronged me, hurt me. And you did, you wronged me. You just didn't listen. I'm sorry, okay? You'll be all right. Don't mind him. You don't have to wear a long face because of him. It's not worth it. I'm sorry. Listen, look, just, I need to speak to her. Please, it's not what you think. I need to explain to her. Come on, just open up. I need to talk to her. Please. 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 Are you okay? To be honest, I just want to be left alone. But you know I just can't leave oh, me. Please. Are you sure? Please. But you know that I can actually stay here. Oh. <sighs> 
I'll be in my room if you need me. Okay. Good night. What do you mean you're just gonna give up? <laughs> For crying out loud, you only just met this girl. And you... And what, Phil? And what? I've lost her. I've lost... I've lost her real, man. Eh? Come on. I was thinking I had my foot in the relationship now. And then someone pops out of nowhere and says things to her and she believes it over what I say to her. She believes them over me. But would you blame her? Huh? You were wrong. You were wrong, man. I have to tell you. Because she has the right to know. She reserves the right to know. But no, you kept it away from her. And you know, when there is silence, people are at liberty to structuring meanings, structuring interpretations. Huh? Everybody will feel used. Honestly, it's human nature. You should have at least told her. And you know Beth and her bad mouth. You know how she talks. I've called her. I've, I've tried sending texts to her. I mean, if her phone is first off, I don't know how else to reach her. I can't lose that girl, man. Look, I can't. And you are not going to lose her. Believe me when I say so. All you need to do is give it a rest and tomorrow go over and have things talked over with her. I need a drink, man. No. What you need is a good night rest. No, I need a drink. I need just have one shot of something. You need a good night's sleep. And tomorrow, this whole thing will be all sorted out. Please.
When you're burning up, you need to stop, please. It's not funny anymore now. Come off it. At least get out of bed. Okay. Well. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't worry, you'll be alright. Because I, I just had to talk to you. Look, Ethan, I already put in my resignation, okay? I have nothing else to say to you. I don't care about your resignation. I don't care about what you've said in there. What I care about is you. What am I going to say? How many times will I say it for you to believe me? I care about you. But then you lied to me. You used me. I never used you. Yes, it's true that my family owns the company, but I was going to tell you, I was going to tell you that day at a restaurant, and then she called me, I went out to talk to her, I came back, and I totally forgot. I don't believe you. Look, oh, babe, I only came there because of my dad. He was sick. My siblings are abroad, they couldn't come back. So I was there to hold things down for a few, a few weeks. Then... And that's why I came about. I don't care about that thing. I don't care about his company. I don't care about his businesses. I don't care about my dad or anything that he does. I don't. So you don't care about the company? I don't. Look, when I came there, I stayed because I saw you and I love you. Baby, the promotion I gave you was because you earned it. I made a promise never to hurt you. And I'm not willing to go back on that. I care about you so much. I don't know what else to believe, to be honest. Babe, you once told me that you are a great judge of character. I want you to look me in the eye. Come and look at me. Tell me that you don't believe I'm saying the truth. Tell me. Because I'm going to keep coming back tomorrow, the day after, the next day. I'm going to keep coming back until you tell me that you forgive me. Because all I want is for you to forgive me. Please. Please, man, please. I believe you. I see what it will never happen again. I will tell you the truth. I will tell you the truth every time I have. Please, that would never happen again. I promise you. Please don't do 
Don't wanna go back to the old me. 